Andre Ware was also a pursuit threat at 168. Are you aware of his of his um, retirement talks and, and what do you take to him? That's exactly what I was just telling uh, uh, the fellow before you. Andre Ward, unfortunately, he's not an honorable man. And, and the reason I say that is because he had a rematch clause with Kovalev and he's not honoring that. Yeah. Okay, uh, way before the fight, all those details were ironed out. There's no reason to talk about anything but a date. Um, that Andre Ward wants to retire is just a way of running past the date of the rematch clause, uh, which is, like I said, it's not honorable. That's not a, a man with any kind of uh, uh, honor. It's going to be made again, it's going to be made again. If you sign an agreement and you negotiate the terms, I think you should live up to them. Hey, but having been in the ring with Kel Brook, and if you're aware, the rumors that he's in negotiations with Amir Khan, and would you see Kel Brook do in, in Amir Khan's Canelo, how would he fare against Amir Khan? I think Amir gives him trouble at the beginning with his hand speed, but I think Kel Brook is too much of a fighter for him. Okay, now, okay, I got one more question. I read the article by Dan Raphael yesterday. He says the two top pound-for-pound -pound guys in the world are on this card. Is it an injustice? to not call Andre Ward pound for pound best. Being he's not he, pound for pound best. Oh, yeah. He's in the top five. He's in the top five, maybe maybe number three. Why? Because we we as fans are gonna judge our fighters by their actions. By what we And weight see. classes. No no no. Going no, up no, and down no. weight it doesn't classes. Matter. It doesn't matter weight classes. Okay. It doesn't matter weight classes. Look, Floyd Mayweather was pound for pound when he was a lightweight, beating the guys that he beat. He was very offensive. That he moved up and became defensive, that's a different story, but Andre Ward doesn't do the things that we as fight fans are going to rank as greatness. No, uh, at, at Kovalev, is, Kovalev is a great feat now. Uh, you mean Kovalev beating Pascal twice, an old man Pascal, and beating a 51-year-old Hopkins? That's that. That's who he beat. But Kovalev has a similar record to you. Knockouts with Triple G, knockouts with Kovalev. Similar, similar pass, similar true, route. True, 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 true. You asked me about Andre Ward. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask me about Kovalev. Uh -huh. I would rank Kovalev above Andre Ward in that top. Even Kovalev. though he lost to him? Even though he, he didn't lose to him. He did. No, he didn't lose to him. The judges gave it to him. He didn't <laughs> lose to him. <laughs> okay, okay. Kovalev won. And, 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 and the reason I say you pull everybody in this room, and you're going to have Kovalev Only three win guys count. No. Only three guys count. I know, I know. Well, they're two, three, three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> We're good, guys. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.